since the 525 Relentless returned to the air in July 2017 after the fatal crash of Flight Test Vehicle 1 a year before. Bell has flown both of its remaining supermedium twins, FTV-2 and 3, nearly an additional 200 flight test hours. The two aircraft have accumulated approximately 290 hours in total between them. FTV-4 is scheduled to make its maiden flight in the fourth quarter. At the Heli Expo show in Las Vegas, Bell showed its 525 mock-up with a full VIP interior, complete with Bristow Helicopters livery, even though the oil and gas and search and rescue operator hasn't been officially revealed as a customer, as have any other customers. Having it in the Bristol colors really uh, emphasize the continued input that Bristol has had with us on the customer advisory panel that started in 2010. So Bristol has been one of those initial companies that has worked with us through the entire design of the aircraft, and they continue to work with us on the search and rescue configuration to make sure that all aspects of that design really meet the requirements of all our customers around the world. The company hasn't set a formal price for the 525, but it does expect to complete certification flight testing by the end of 2018. We are currently building our production aircraft to support initial deliveries in 2019. Uh, our objective is to have those aircraft ready to deliver. Uh, when we have our certification paperwork, that will be the last aspect, ideally, to deliver those products to the market. Bell's 525 is the world's first fly-by-wire commercial helicopter, which should provide an extra envelope of safety for the passengers. But this is just one of the features that the manufacturer is excited about. So fly-by-wire in the commercial market is very disruptive technology. It's just one aspect of the disruptive technology on this product that we have brought in from our military products. A lot of capability in this aircraft to bring airline-type economics, aircraft availability, operational cadence, and safety to the industry. And that is really what, what we have focused on with this clean sheet design. So the more time we spend with our customers to talk about our vibration attenuation, extremely low vibration levels, the speed of this aircraft, the CAD-A capability at full gross weight, and the triplex systems, the fly-by-wire, the corrosion prevention, so many things that our customers have, have helped us design to meet their specific requirements is getting a lot of attention in the industry. We're spending a lot of time with customers talking about all the configurations, VVIP, VIP, search and rescue, oil and gas, firefighting, uh, all need safety, they all need these economics and this next level of technology and all the latest regulatory requirements that are driving that next level of safety in the industry. This really is that package that they're very excited about.